Heavenly Father, again, God, we are here well aware that it is you that gives life, God. You could have exhaled and we wouldn't even know we aren't alive. And so, God, thank you that we do know we are alive and we have gathered in your house to worship you and to praise you and then to hear you through this word. Father, as you've talked with me and as I brought to you by your Holy Spirit, I just thank you for your word. And now, Father, I pray that you would indeed use these lips of clay to formulate words that ultimately you will get the glory in all that is done. And God, even as I said the word glory, I am reminded of your, your glory. The apple of your eye, Israel. And Father, I pray right now in alignment with your word, knowing that you will come through. You may not know how, may not know when, but you will do it again. So Father, I pray, I see as it were a ring of fire around Israel. And God, I thank you for the fire whereby you keep your people safe. And then God, we're, we're not ignorant to understand. We pray for all too. We have those in India that reach out to me, in Pakistan. And so Father, we understand that the whole world is yours. Mankind have come from your bosom. And so Father, we pray that souls will be one to the kingdom through and only through the name and blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And so God, we give this preaching time to you that you would have your beautiful way and we all would celebrate knowing that you have done this thing one more time. So we bless you in your name and then in the name of your son and by the Holy Spirit. And everyone says, amen, amen.